And what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Excelsior Sub for another video. So we have something a little bit different today. We're going to be doing another rankings video, but this time we're going to be ranking some Accelerators customs that Randy has made. So as you guys know, we did the big reveal of the full set of Highway 35 video game custom cars. And while I had them on hand, I figured, you know, I might as well do a rankings video on them because I love ranking stuff. You just, you can't go wrong with ranking things and getting all sorts of uh, opinions and feedback down in the comments. It's a lot of fun. So what we're going to be doing today is ranking all of those Highway 35 video game customs from my least favorite to my most favorite. This is going to be a blast. But just a disclaimer before I jump into this rankings video. So these are my personal favorites and least favorites based on, you know, the car models themselves. This uh, ranking has nothing to do with the quality of the custom at all. I'm not ranking custom quality. I'm just ranking the car model and it's a lot more fun to rank the actual customs when I have them on hand rather than ranking, you know, pictures that I pull from Google of the video game cars because it's so much cooler to have an actual car on hand when you're ranking them. So please just keep that in mind. This is not a reflection of the quality of work of the custom. They are all top notch, premium, top of the line customs that he makes. His work is always out of this world and everything that he's ever sent us to review. So just keep that in mind as I'm ranking these. Um, and remember my least favorite car doesn't mean it's a bad model at all. It's just personal preference. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, guys, let's jump right into these rankings. So coming in at number 15, and once again, guys, this is so hard to choose between these because these cars are all absolutely wicked. So at number 15, my least favorite of the batch has to be the Scorchers So Fast. Um, once again, I'm just not a huge fan of rat rod style cars, even though that gloss black paint absolutely makes it pop. Um, tough decision, but number 15 is So Fast. And then coming in at number 14, next up is the Wave Rippers, no matter what. Um, once again, I do love the sort of uniqueness of the design of the car, and uh, I love those full side decals as well. But uh, as far as his body style on the car goes, it is a little bit bulky compared to some of the other cars in the line that are just absolutely sporty and look like speed machines. So at number 14, I have no matter what. Coming in at number 13, this one was tough to place, but I have the Wave Rippers Golden Arrow. I am a big fan of you know, the unique paint scheme on it. I love the crystal blue windshield. But uh, as compared to some of these other cars that are just absolutely gorgeous, um, this car just came up a little bit short for me. So at number 13, I have the Golden Arrow. And coming in at number 12, next up we have the Wave Rippers 40 something. And uh, once again, guys, just gonna reiterate, these rankings have nothing to do with the quality of the customs. I'm simply ranking the cars designed themselves. Um, I could be ranking just, you know, screen grabs of the video game cars. Um, Cause this is not related to the customs at all. And, you know, the craftsmanship on there are all top notch, but uh, this is just me ranking my preference for the car models themselves. And just, just so happens that we have all these cars on hand from the last customs video. So I figured it would be fun to sort of have a, have a tangible car in front of me for these rankings videos for you guys. So uh, next up is the Wave Rippers 40 something guys. I absolutely love the paint job, but uh, similar to the Chrysler Thunderbolt, it struggles for me a bit just because it's kind of a bland body style on the car, but the decals on the sides absolutely almost carry it higher in the rankings single-handedly. So at number 12, we have 40 something. And coming in at number 11, we have the Street Breed Hot Wheels Prototype 12. So once again, the decals almost single-handedly carry this car. I absolutely love the detail on these decals on the top of the car. And I do love the paint scheme on the bottom. I almost wish it was a, a purple see-through on the bottom though, instead of green. Um, as cool as the see-through effect is, it's not really even see-through, but well, it kind of is. As cool as that effect is, I almost uh, would prefer it to be purple rather than green. But uh, other than that, this car is absolutely wicked. But uh, anyways, coming in at number 11 is the Prototype 12. Moving into number 10, we have the Dune Rats Jester. This was a tough one for me. I really do like the uniqueness of this car model. I really do like the cars that stand out a bit. And uh, the side decal, the orange windshield, absolutely awesome. I love the whole truck vibes, but it still looks like it could win a race. Um, just absolutely wicked. But uh, unfortunately, it did get tough getting into the top 10. There's a lot of these cars that are just absolutely awesome. And there's only like, outside of probably the top three, there's just... You know, it's like splitting hairs with these cars, ranking them. But uh, at number 10, I have the Dune Rats Jester. And at number nine, this was another tough one. I have the Dune Rats Super Tuned. I absolutely love the whole body style on Super Tuned. And I cannot say enough about that gloss black paint, guys. I know I sound like a broken record from the last video, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Love the Metro Metrics handle on it. And uh, this car is an absolute beast. But once again, just tough to make these calls in the top 10. So at number nine, I have the Dune Rats Super Tuned. 
And next up at number eight, we have another one of the Scorchers. We have the Scorchers Overboard. And this one was really tough, guys, because uh, the more I looked at it, the more the car just continued to grow on me with that uh, yellow windshield. Absolutely makes the car pop with the chrome engine parts in the front, all black paint scheme. This car is a beauty. I very easily could have put this, you know, in my top three because it is just an absolute work of art. But uh, I was just swayed by the beauty of some of the other cars, unfortunately. So coming in at number eight, we have the Scorchers Overboard. Next up, at number seven, this car really did kind of, I had it lower in the rankings originally. This is the Street Breed Pony Up, but the more I kept looking at it, guys, I just could not bring myself to vote this car out. I'm not a huge fan of, you know, the eye decals on the side, but uh, similar to the Rages and the IROC, I'm just not a huge fan of that. But uh, just the shape of the car, the body style, that green paint is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm a big Mustang fan, so a Pony Up just kind of, you know, it hit the spot for me. I absolutely love this car model. But uh, at number seven, I have the Street Breed Pony Up. Moving into number six, right outside the top five, I have the Scorchers Roger Dodger. Obviously, this body style isn't as unique as some of the others, but that paint job, I just you just can't go wrong with it. That bright red, the yellow, the orange, it absolutely looks like a plume of fire. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I love how high riding uh, Roger Dodger is as well. You know, it just it looks like an absolute unit, like it could take some hits. And uh, I have Roger Dodger at number six. Moving into the top five, these were so tough to decide at this point, but I have the Scorcher Silhouette at number five. I always, you know, I can't say enough about that paint job on the side. I love how it sort of blends up into the top of the car, you know. Um, I just, that's just a really cool effect on the paint job of this car, guys. It really is absolutely wicked how it's not like, you know, the decals stop and then it's a different color. It just, uh, it's just sort of like all blended into one color on the side. It's absolutely wicked. But at number five, I have the Scorchers Silhouette. And next up at number four, I have the Dune Rats Seared Tuner. And I really didn't think this car would be that high on my rankings, but the more I just kept comparing them, you know, one to another and just kind of trying to figure out which ones I like more, I just, I struggled to find anything that I didn't like about the Seared Tuner. It's absolutely gorgeous. The yellow and black is absolutely wicked looking. Um, I love the gold rims on all the Dune Rats cars. It is just a sweet, sweet car. I wish we could have seen it in Teku decals, honestly. Um, but at number four, I have the Dune Rats seared too. And then moving into number three, obviously the uniqueness of this car definitely propelled it for me, which was the Road Beast Grease Lightning. Just the absolutely futuristic model on it. It uh, definitely is one of a kind, even in comparison to you know all the other cars out here. But uh, I have the Grease Lightning at number three. Unfortunately, the top two just had paint jobs that were so sick, I just could not vote against them, honestly. And uh, Grease Lightning just came out just a hair short. So at number three, I have the Road Beast Grease Light. And this might be a bit of a shot, guys, honestly. But at number two, I had the Dune Rats MST Suzuka. I thought for sure this car would win. I'm sure you guys know what's in the top spot. But uh, unfortunately, you know what, let's just go ahead and bring it out. The winner of my rankings is the Scorchers Maelstrom, guys. These cars, these two in particular, are just so gorgeous to look at. Um, that paint job on the MST Suzuka, the gold rims, all the color, this car absolutely pops 100%. And I love the body style, similar to the, uh, the seared tuner. It is uh, absolutely gorgeous. But when it ran up against these Scorchers Maelstrom, guys, with that sort of strip metal paint style, or a strip metal style paint job, excuse me, I can't speak today, with those flame decals, guys, that almost look holographic on top. That car is absolutely unbelievable. Um, I just could not bring myself to put anything above this Scorcher's Maelstrom when it came down to it. So uh, these are my top two. Number two was the MST Suzuka, and the winner was the Scorcher's Maelstrom. Number three was this Grease Lightning, and here is sort of the overhead view of my picks, guys. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Absolutely gorgeous. Once again, Randy did an absolutely fantastic job on all these customs. Top-notch quality, great texture, great colors. Um, they are super smooth. They are absolutely unreal. So that is going to wrap up the rankings video. Once again, guys, be sure to give Randy some love down in the comments for making these customs and sending them to me because uh, I absolutely love reviewing stuff like this on the channel for you guys. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for my rankings video. Hopefully you enjoyed checking out what I think of all these custom models. Um, be sure to go and let me know down in the comments which one of these is your favorite custom, you know, which one is your least favorite. I'm just kind of curious to see what you guys' thoughts are on these models because uh, it's always cool to me to see a bunch of different car models with the World Race decals on them. Obviously, you know, they are official because they came from, you know, the World Race video game. But given that I never played that game as a kid, a lot of these cars I had never seen before um, in person or even images online. So uh, it's definitely pretty cool to see these. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of got me interested to play the full version of the Highway 35 World Race game because on the Game Boy Advance, which is the version I have, they didn't have the full game, you know, with the full extension of cars. Um, I think it was very similar, but I think there was only like 
15 total cars or something like that that you could drive with in the, the Game Boy Advance version. But from what I understand on like GameCube and PC, there was, you know, the full extension with all these video game cars that were subbed in there. So uh, I'm kind of interested to play that now. I might have to see if I can track down a copy of it and stream it on PC. That would be a lot of fun. But uh, once again, guys, if you're interested in any of these customs, feel free to go down and save Randy's eBay page. It's down in the description of the video and in the pinned comment. He posts all the customs that he makes on there when they're available. But uh, just keep in mind, they sell super, super fast. Um, even his regular customs sell, you know, super fast. But uh, these video game customs pop up a lot less frequently. And when they do, they literally are gone like immediately. So you have to be on top of your game if you want to get them. But once again, huge shout out to him for sending these to me so I could review them and do some of these videos on them um it was an absolute blast so huge shout out to randy once again but uh anyways guys that is going to wrap it up for this video so if you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe to the accelerator sub for more accelerator related content and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out guys